Okay, first off, I apologize for the sound, because this is a live machine room, so we have chillers running in here. But this is a York, 800 tons, centrifugal chiller. It's got all 134A inside, and I'm going to show you how to start it up. So we walk over to the machine, and that right there would be our main disconnect switch. We would have to turn that on sure that our crankcase heat is energized. So let's go around the back and we'll look at that crankcase heater. And we want to come here to our oil sump. We want to make sure that our oil level is good. As you see in there, it's good. And if we touch this, you can feel that our crankcase heaters are on. All right? So we have good oil level, our crankcase heaters are on. Next step is gonna to be to make sure that our pumps are on. So with the BMS system, this would be Chiller 5. So we have here Chiller 5 is on auto. Chiller 5 is on auto. But for demonstration purposes, we're gonna turn it to open. Chiller 5 open, Chiller 5 open. And now we're gonna to come to our pump, our valves here. We're gonna see that our valves will start open. Walk around to the other side. And walk to our panel. You can see that we have flow established. So we see that we have flow. We see that we would have the date, the time, we would have what our load amps are, operating hours. Operating, I apologize. The date, the time, load amps, input power, run hours, operating hours, and then we're going to come here. Chilled water, condenser water. If I can zoom out, this is our main power switch right here. So I'm just going to take this, I'm going to press it, and as you see here, it's a system prelude. Chiller. 